Hello, and welcome to Japanese craft beer reviews. Uh, today's beer is uh, from the Philippines, not from Japan. Uh, and in a recent video, we looked at uh, San Miguel Pale Pilsen, and today what we're going to look at is what's called San Miguel Light. And this is brewed by the San Miguel Brewing Company, uh, which is based in the Philippines. However, this is brewed in Hong Kong. It's a Hong Kong, uh, at least it's what it says on the label, uh, San Miguel Brewery, Hong Kong Limited, New Territories, Hong Kong. Um, but uh, San Miguel is definitely a Philippine brewery, and uh, actually they have a tie-up now with Maho of Spain. Uh, I'm not sure how much of uh, the company is owned by which, but... Uh, and actually, uh, uh, San Miguel uh, from the Philippines, um, and uh, the lightness here refers to the uh, calories. So apparently, it has uh, only a hundred calories as compared to, say, the uh, typical 150 or plus of a regular can of beer this size. Um, this is five percent and eleven international bittering units. It's considered a pale lager uh, American style on rate beer and they call it premium beer there's not much else left on it I don't know where they came up with the San Mig but maybe they're trying to lighten the name as well um, so um, and uh, this one has 230 ratings on rate beer the average is 1.76 out of five and a zero percentile rating zero i'll say it again zero percentile rating uh for all beers on rate beer that means it's in the of course the lowest of all categories and uh it is seven percentile rating for its style which is pale lager uh american untapped there are twelve thousand four hundred and forty nine separate ratings and the average for them is 2.63 so nearly a full point higher i don't know uh well we'll, we'll see about what it is uh, why perhaps untapped rate uh, raters give it a higher score uh, i have had this before uh, it was in uh, 2014 so about six seven years ago and uh, i didn't give it a very high rating then we will see now how it is so i just had the pale pills in from San Miguel. I'm not terribly impressed. And if this is light, a light version of that, well, maybe less offensive. Who knows? And you got to give every beer a try, right? You got to and try them on their own merits too. So you don't expect this to be a, you know, a full German style lager or anything like that. So it is completely clear. Uh, Gold straw, uh, kind of frothy, frothy, sort of sponge-like head. And let's try the aroma. <coughs> oh boy. This is somewhat reminiscent of the other beer, uh, the San Miguel Pale Pilsen, and it has a definitely a sewer note. Uh, something like abattoir uh, or a butcher shop, which I worked in when I was much younger. Uh, get a whole range of aromas from that. Uh, kind of washed up flotsam. Mm, the aroma's not terribly great. Very spritzy. The maltiness is so thin. I mean, it even seems, I mean, I, I know it's impossible, but it seems kind of funky. Um, and uh, I guess this would be funk in a bad way. Uh, kind of a lousy, sort of tingling, light bitterness, but uh, generally, uh, the flavors here are not uh, impressive at all. Uh, do your favor, self a favor, and don't uh, don't get this one. I, 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 I generally say go out and try everything, and if you want, do it. But I don't recommend this.
this at all. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, San Miguel, or San Miguel, San Mig Light, 5%, 11 IBUs, pale, lager, American style. You know, we say you got to try everything. Well, <laughs> I'll take that. I'll, I'll scratch that for this, for this beer. Oh. Yeah, I gave it 1.8 seven years ago, and I think I probably might even give it a little lower now. Um, yeah, if possible. Well, in any case, uh, I'm going to look at one more beer from this brewery, uh, which is called Red Horse. It's their kind of high-powered, kind of malt lager sort of style, and we'll look at that next video. Uh, and you can check out the Pale Pilsen review as well. And uh, please subscribe to the channel and leave me a comment. Uh, tell me if I'm right or wrong about San Miguel, uh, you know, and uh, I'd like to hear from you, and I will reply. Take care. Bye-bye.